And from Delhi, we are shifting focus to Bengal. Arrested TMC MP Srinjoy Bose has been granted bail in the Sarada scam case. Srinjoy Bose had been arrested on the 21st of November. He's been granted bail on health grounds. He was arrested by the CBI in connection with the Sarada scam. There was criminal conspiracy, fraud and allegations that he benefited from this scam. He's been in judicial custody after his arrest. The CBI questioned him initially. Shortly after his arrest, Srinjoy Bost had been admitted to the SSKM hospital in Kolkata for some time. He has now been granted bail. Headlines today's Indrajit Kundu joins us with the latest. Uh, this is bail on health grounds, uh, Indrajit. Well, that's right, Gaurav. This does come as a big relief for Srinjoy Bose, a Trinamool Congress Rajya Sabha MP who was arrested on uh, November 21st last year after the CBI uh, had a marathon questioning session with him. Uh, remember, the charges against him are grave, uh, criminal conspiracy, misappropriation of funds and fraud. These are the charges on which Srinjoy Bose was arrested by the CBI in connection to the Sarda scam. Now, uh, his, uh, his uh, statements have been recorded by the CBI and ever since the CBI arrested him, after the initial uh, period where the CBI took custody or took his custody, since then he has mostly been in judicial custody. And a large portion of his judicial custody uh, term was spent in the SSKM hospital because reportedly he, was, uh, he had reported ill. So even as he uh, is uh, at the SSKM hospital right now, uh, his lawyer had moved court seeking uh, his bail uh, on special grounds because uh, it is learned that his health is not permitting at this point okay. in time. So the Alipur court has finally granted him bail, the conditions of which are still unclear. We'll get to know once his lawyer comes out of the court and briefs us. But it does come in as a huge okay. relief for the Trinamool Congress MP. Indrajit Kundu, for the moment, many thanks for joining me. And let's quickly cut across to Congress Party Vice President Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi is also carrying out a series of road shows in Delhi. He's in the past launched a frontal attack both on the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party. These are pictures of Rahul Gandhi's road show in the Sadar Bazar area. Now, Rahul Gandhi is carrying out his road show in areas which are considered Congress Party strongholds. For the Congress party, it's an uphill task. They were down to eight seats after ruling Delhi for 15 long years. And most of the surveys, incidentally, these surveys have been criticized by Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. Most surveys predict that the Congress party will be down to anything between three and six seats in these elections. It was an extremely combative Rahul Gandhi this morning who attacked both the Aam Aadmi Party and the Bharatiya Janta Party. In fact, Rahul Gandhi singled out Prime Minister Narendra Modi saying that his governance, his style of governance was only benefiting a few corporate houses in the country. Rahul Gandhi claimed that the Congress Party's governance model was for the downtrodden, for the poor and the tribals and he also referred to his fight or his issue with Jayanti Natarajan, former environment minister who's just quit from the Congress party, saying yes, he did write to Jayanti Natarajan, but the issue was not stalling the development of India's growth story, was not to stall India's growth story, but to fight for rights of the tribals and the poor. Joining me now for more is headlines today is Jugal Purohit. Jugal for the Congress party, it's a major, major battle. They may have ruled Delhi for 15 years, but it's an uphill task to hold on to the eight seats and gain some more. There's little doubt about that, uh, Gaurav. The Congress party, uh, the cadre itself, uh, does not in any way uh, think that the party has any chance to gain more than 10 to 12 seats. And it, it's, it's just a measure of just what the cadre feels and is believing right now. Uh, no, nevertheless, Rahul Gandhi is uh, here where I am in uh, the central Delhi area. Uh, he's moving between Azadpur uh, in, a, in a rally roadshow which will uh, carry on for six kilometers touching four assembly constituencies and will, will, will end at the Jama Masjid area. He just shortly arrived at the Azad uh, market talk from where the roadshow has begun. And I can tell you this, that at least in this area, uh, he has got a very, very rousing reception. There have been crowds which have come out 
Uh, Ajay Markan is among the key candidates who are standing from here. And it does seem that at least in this corner of Delhi, the Congress party's prospects are not at all dim. Okay, and Sadar is a very important constituency for the Congress party. Uh, their chief ministerial candidate, as you just pointed out, Ajay Makan, is contesting from here. What is Rahul Gandhi's pitch to the residents of Sadar Bazar and these areas where uh, the, the Congress party is taking out its roadshow? You know, Gaurav, ironical as it may sound, uh, the Carter who I was speaking to is also a little upset about the fact that Rahul Gandhi will not be speaking to them at all. He is simply uh, waving at them and passing by in a giant truck which the Congress party has arranged. So there is no real uh, communication or talk or any speech whatsoever in this entire six kilometer long roadshow. He is not even carrying a loudspeaker and a mic. He's simply standing and waving at the crowds, no communication whatsoever. The only reference point we have is from his rally in Bhalaswa, from where he now has arrived into this part. The rally's contents, of course, are known to all. No communication, as I said, out here with these residents at least.